A child wanders away from a local elementary school and is found on a busy two-lane highway. Yeah, now parents in that area want to know how this happened and what's now being done to prevent it from happening once again in the future. Local 12's Trish Christian Hauser has that story tonight from Warsaw. The boy walked away from Lower Elementary School. It's tucked off the main drag in Warsaw. It was around 1245 Friday when the first call for help came in. Has there been a little boy missing? Mm, nothing I'm aware of. Like missing or run away from school or anything? Mm, nothing I'm aware of. Well, there's a little boy about five years old, and he's hiding behind trees. And when I when I oh, seen God. him, he took off running toward west on Park Avenue. A few minutes later, he was spotted again. He traveled from Park Avenue onto State Route 35 and was nearing this bend down the way. And there's a little boy. Now, he couldn't be five, maybe at O'Connor's out here on 35 walking towards Dry Creek. I didn't see any adults around. Dispatchers were quick to send police and the boy was found within minutes. He was then brought back to school and is safe. This all happened within about 15 minutes. However, some of the parents in the community want to know why the school never called for help. I checked and the district did not call dispatch reporting the child is missing. I called the district and went inside the board office asking to speak to someone, but so far no one has responded. Parents in the district were notified when this letter was sent home with students Monday. It says in part, Gallatin County Schools have reviewed safety protocols and procedures and will continue to do so to ensure that students and staff are as safe as possible. We are continuously looking for ways to allow all stakeholders to identify areas of strength and improvements. But you'll notice it doesn't say anything about what happened, how the little boy was able to walk away, or what's being done to make sure it won't happen again. Now, we'll continue to check and request interviews with the district until we get some of those answers. For now, in Warsaw, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. So we checked, and the Kentucky Department of Education does not require schools to report these incidents. Instead, they're considered behavior incidents. It's up to the school to remedy the problem.